Hello guys, so I have replaced a uh, variable displacement compressor or clutchless compressor on my AC system on my Dodge Avenger. So I want to see how everything looks uh, when compressor works. So right now I have the uh, control off and we see that ambient temperature is 26. So switch off, off. Uh, AC clutch relay, we don't have a clutch so it will be off and AC output current 0 amp so now I'll just crank up a bit my AC so we can see that the voltage uh, amperage is 35, 34, 36 so it's sending uh, that voltage to the compressor so when I crank it up more Uh, the amps go up so basically it increases the displacement capacity of the compressor and it will go up until it reaches the desired temperature inside the cab so that tells us the compressor is working correctly the solenoid valve is working correctly and I can tell like the air is quite cool so the compressor is working a few things to note so this is all the com old compressor and I got a used one uh, from a similar vehicle just different engine minus 2.7 and that one was 2.4 looks absolutely the same one difference that I had the mounting on the new compressor didn't have this step over here, it was just flat. So I, when I put the compressor on and I put my belt on, I could see that the pull is not aligned with the belt at all. So then I checked and I what I had to do, just use the uh, nut of like any of those, drill it through and I extended the body of the compressor with that nut so it basically made a spacer so right now it's all lined up so here we can see it's 50 psi on the low side and the compressor is over here so it's all lined up and I will show you what is on the high side so on the high side we have almost 1200 kPa and when I shut off the AC so you can see it went off and those kPa are slowly decreasing so the high and low side will become equal. So that's how you can do basic troubleshooting with basic scan tool for the variable displacement compressor or clutchless compressor if you guys have any other tricks or tips or any other comments please uh, leave your comment under the video uh, at this point that's all for me thanks for watching and do it yourself